look at infertility treatments today, as some couples can't have a baby on their own. But scientists have used better microscopes and their knowledge of reproductive hormones to figure out new ways to help them. So let's see how they've done it. The NHS states that as many as one in seven couples have difficulty conceiving or getting pregnant. This is called infertility. It can be caused by blocked or damaged ovidocs or a lack of ovulation. In males, a low sperm count or sperm defects, like having a shortened tail, can also cause infertility. Being obese or anorexic and simply getting older all increase your risk of infertility. If a woman doesn't naturally ovulate because her body isn't producing enough FSH or LH, this can be treated with fertility drugs. These contain the right doses of these hormones. Then she can try to conceive naturally. IVF or in vitro fertilization is another treatment that can be used for women who have faulty oviducts or when there's no obvious cause for infertility. The first stage is exactly the same. She is given fertility drugs. This causes her eggs to mature and these are then removed from the ovaries, like this. Then the eggs are mixed with sperm in the lab so that fertilization happens. If the infertility was caused by the man not producing enough sperm, individual sperm can be ejected into the egg. Microscopy can then be used to monitor that fertilization has actually happened and to check that the fertilized eggs develop into the embryos, which are just tiny little balls of cells. One or two embryos are placed into the mother's uterus, bypassing the faulty oviducts. Hopefully, at least one baby will grow and be born. Although fertility treatment gives a woman the chance to have a baby on her own, it is very emotionally and physically stressful. Placing two embryos in the uterus can also lead to multiple births, which is a higher risk to the babies and the mother. Finally, the success rates are not high, and these decrease with age. Okay, let's try some questions. Pause the video, grab some paper, or do them in your head, and press play when you're done. Number one, some women struggling to conceive are given fertility drugs. Which reproductive hormones do these drugs contain? They contain FSH and LH. What is the function of FSH? To make the eggs mature. Three, during IVF, a woman is given fertility drugs, and mature eggs are then collected from her ovaries. Describe the remaining stages of IVF. The eggs are mixed with sperm to be fertilized, then monitored using microscopy. Once they have grown into early embryos, one or two are inserted into the mother's uterus. I'm underlining the important words you need. Fertilized, monitored, one or two embryos inserted into the uterus. Four, suggest why a woman may choose not to have IVF despite being eligible for it. While she may not want to, or may not be able to, go through the physical or emotional stresses of IVF. She might be older and know that the success rates are very low, or she may decide that she doesn't want children of her own, or may adopt instead. How did you do? I've included some links about IVF in the description below, as I think it's really interesting. If you study combined science, yay, you are done. This is the last lesson of homeostasis. If you study biology, you're going to learn about plant hormones next. Thanks for watching. Bye.